阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛。阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛。Hey everyone, thank you for coming to this、uh, Tai Shan session. Ah,、uh, I'm very happy that we ah、uh, made made this far in this journey. So from you know the beginning in April pre COVID, ah、uh, Liao Fan until now. So this Tai Shang,、uh, last week we talked about,、uh, you know, the the、um, trespassings easily committed by those who are in high、uh, in power, high places. Transgression easily committed by people with authority.、Uh, we talk about the、um, we analyze, we take it really slowly last week,、um, and we talk about how important it is to know what is right, what is wrong. Uh, share some examples about you know people who are、um, able to have a clear boundary, what is right and wrong, or like very clear on their conduct. Uh, what they what what line do they hold? You know, they won't fall below that line, but will always end up、uh, having a better life. Uh, because they have priorities, they have the bottom line. You know, they will not cross. People around them feel safe. Conducting with these people, it's called yi in Chinese. People who follow the laws that、uh, follow what is reasonable, what is fair. So basically, you use that as a measurement of what is right and what is wrong. And then there's examples given、uh, on the positive or negative side, pros and cons. I mean, the、um, people who follow what is right and wrong, and people who did not do that, and what's their consequences. So we have learned that. We also learn about how the、um, superiors, because this is about people with authority,、uh, can easily abuse their power and just to get you know a extra point in their KPI or just to you know appear competent or just to、uh, get more in、uh, interest in、uh, get more benefits at the expense of their subordinates because they're in charge of someone else as parents or in charge of、uh, as a boss you know as a superior. Uh, in, as a teacher, you know they are in a position of advantage. So they, it is their duty to make sure、uh, they're taking care of their、uh, subordinates who are more,、um, who are relying on them, maybe on their wisdom, on their care,、uh, on you know on their experience. So, if on the other hand we, you know, pursue our self-interest at the expense of our subordinates,、uh, you know, then. It says pretty much about the character this person has,、um, and obviously the karma will be heavy against this. So this is a、uh, stories that we talk about, and、uh, today we will continue on this gratitude because、um, every time we receive gratitude to show no gratitude for kindness and favors received,、uh, what is gratitude? People give you. Assistance, help,、uh, small help. You know, give you a hand, help you to lift stuff, or big help. Or you know, really in need of financials or in need of you know life saving、uh, uh, device or something. They give it to you If, during COVID. You know, you you need mask. People give you mask, something like that.、Uh, just in time, or mental help, mental support. People give you a word of encouragement, or give you a smile. Uh, give you a、uh, affirmation. Give you a just a nod of approval. Those are gratitudes. Those are things we should be able to grateful for, because it keeps us going in this long life. In this life, I know, I know, I sound very edgy here today. Sorry. Um. So yeah. So this is this is why it's important. Even a this this little a little drop of kindness shown to us, we must always. Cherish it because it's so rare in this world. It's so precious,、uh, no matter how insignificant it is. You have to treasure it in your heart and repay it any time you want. Even you can't repay it, 
you can you must always remember uh, that person has done good to you and you will always want to repay them and, and as soon as possible um, in our way we can also chant our mitofo dedicate to them and when we chant we chant it sincerely chant it, chant it purely that's also a way to repay them so right now we'll talk about uh, in the um, uh, uh, notations so how they annotate this one so there are four types of gratitudes in Buddhism we mentioned that number one you know when we chant the dedication merits repay the four kinds of kindness above so what are the four kinds of kindness you guys know all sentient beings that's right so these are the four very important people in our life you know without a stable country as you can see right now in ukraine you know don't have to look into world war ii that's too far without a country with a stable political situation stable system law and order that's not not that's not a life this is survival so it's something to be grateful for if we are especially in the place where everything's stable and then we have our parents obviously we won't be here in the in this form if not for our parents uh, they give us the conditions they give us the care nurtured us important in uh, to teach us important lessons so that we are we can be a person in this society we can stand up in this society and then we have the teachers who are very important in giving you insight wisdom path you know points out path to you in our case you see master ching kong who has just recently passed away is a is a symbolic of a teacher a, a someone who has done their duty as a teacher uh, by being an example a role model the so teacher doesn't have to be in classroom teacher can be in everywhere your colleagues or uh, your friends your spouse uh, teacher doesn't have to be good example as well bad example also can be a teacher the thing is we need to have wisdom to use bad example uh, not to pollute us but to avoid making that mistakes especially when you look at their consequences so it's easy to find bad example in this world so make use of this plentiful resources to avoid the trap force pit force that they could have done this is the whole point of this part you know the whole uh, list of transgression is to tell us the bad examples like what not to do only then we can get better we can see if i have something like that you know i have forgotten the gratitude of someone else uh you know no matter how small it is uh that means i need to reflect into myself am i um how to say living by my conscience or uh, am i aware the thing is uh always always remember um to to come back to these uh teachings uh, time to time uh, so they will remember us so we have talked about you know the obvious one the countries the parents the teachers what about sentient beings like what what do what do we mean by sentient beings guys what do we mean in what form do they have gratitude do we owe them a gratitude what kind of gratitude do you receive from i mean what kind of um how to say favors you receive from the sentient beings or help they yeah same as your parents teacher <laughs> They are sentient beings as well, but why do they? Why don't they just, you know, say this tree? Why do they have to say sentient beings? Because it's very broad, isn't it? Um, it encompasses everything: your food, your table, your building, your chairs, your tra public transport, all the system. Who's running it, right? Like people running it. Uh, it's um, histories of many things, um, crops. Uh, you know how how things how do you get to this manufactured product in your hand this clothes textile if you think about it none of this can happen like think of the caveman's era like how far have they progressed just to get to this level of convenience so yeah i mean pretty much put us in perspective it's four kinds of kindness above and uh, as a bodhisattva as a person who practice we always must have that because to be honest without i mean gratitude is the drive for a cultivators or, or for a person to achieve um success in anything if they are grateful for 
uh, people who shown them uh, kindness or they are grateful for uh, you know like um, what the parents have done to, for them or what your uh, friends done for them you will go extra mile for them to repay them or to repay whoever is in the same position you were in you know you want to do the same good deeds they are doing to you so what they do onto you you do onto others the good stuff but that's one way of repaying gratitude and that's the 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 but the seeds of body heart that's how body heart works like without compassion the body heart cannot happen and compassion cannot come without understanding your relationship with other people with other things and with understanding of relationship with other people and other things only then you have gratitude you understand that's how long it takes to get to this point how hard it is to get to this point and uh, how much more you need to work on in order to improve so this is how gratitude happens and hence drive you forwards getting better and better so in the story section, we can talk about a Tang Dynasty's um, story. Uh, Mr. Shi and Mr. Zhang, they are friends. Mr. Shi uh, is quite poor in his, um, in his financial situation. He's impoverished. Mr. Zhang uh, is you know, okay, doing okay financially. So Mr. Zhang always help Mr. Shi, you know, financial needs, you know, help you with some groceries uh, or debts. Very good friends they are, so that their family, the Shi's family, could um, go on uh, without starving. So, you know, even bring out capitals for Mister Shi to have a business. So such a good friend, such a good gratitude. Uh, it's not a small favor, guys. Not a favor. It's it's not a small help. However, a few years, no, uh, Mister Shi has already earned amass a uh, quite amount of fortune himself with the help from his friend set initial setup however mr Zhang has got well, the favors i mean the fortune you know turn around right mr Zhang's um uh how to say situation is getting worse in case of uh, fire so his house got caught on fire and all his you know um everything they have was burned into ashes so all their uh, properties and everything has turned into embers. So he has met the end of the road. Uh, you know, he has encountered these calamities. Obviously, it's a good friend, right? He finds Mr. Shi for help, asking him, you know, could you help me a bit? Uh, because I'm trying to get by. Uh, I lost my house, lost my home. However, Mr. Zhi, Mr. Shi uh, forgot all the goods that Mr. Zhang has helped him when he was impoverished. He forgot about it and refused to meet him. Like just leave him at the doorsteps, not even talking to him. So Mr. Zhang, this time he only has, um, you know, like sight. He only sighed and say, ah, such is life. So, however, and he just look at the heaven and say, ah, such is life. So, um, however, as he said that, at a speck of speck of a moment, the um, cloud start to gather above the house of Shi. Uh, it's a very dark. It's like a cloud there yeah, that has um, lightning over there, and indeed, there is lightning, and they um, sizzled a little bit, and then when the intensity increased, it focused on Mister Shi. And focus on him and him only. So once he got hit by this lightning, he became a cow. Yeah, he became a cow, and this cow has a imprint on his, uh, on his stomach. It says "Fu Xing Shi Wu Wei." That means, uh, Fu Xing. I don't know how to say it. it's um, I'm grateful, Brett. Mr. I mean, ungrateful Mr. Ungrateful Shi Wu Wei, his full name, ungrateful Shi. After ten days, this cow passed away. Yeah. Obviously, in this modern society, we might not get thunder, but I'm pretty sure COVID is in a good substitute, or any form of um, disease could be a good substitute. 
uh, it might not appear in a way that will shock, but you definitely will see this kind of thing happen. So the point is, why why is it becoming a cow? To show us that this, uh, how to say, is not a human. A, a person who have no gratitude is not a human. Cannot be a human. Chusen in in Chinese, we always scold people when they are very bad. So like, it's like a chusen, so such an animal. So you're an animal, something like that. So, however, it will be an insult to an animal. Because you've seen in YouTube, there are many birds, uh, especially the little cute little I don't know, seal or something, baby seal, or even snake. When they were saved from dangers, they always come back and say thank you. Or, you know, bring some food, basket, uh, fruit in front of the porch of the um, people who saved them. So even animal knows gratitude knows that someone do good to me I must do good to them that's it no no big brain thinking that's 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 what's supposed to happen so it will be an insult to an animal to scold a person like that so you can understand how serious it is if one person forgets grateful being being grateful yeah so also Master Hai Xian uh, if you guys remember stories he was one day he was in the mountain. He was always in the mountain anyway because he was next to a mountain. And then he's trying to find fruits and herbs and all that, doing his daily duties for his temple. And suddenly he met a big gray wolf. I, I don't know if it's gray wolf, a wolf. He met a wolf. And that wolf looking at him and then bite his um, sleeves. So he thought, maybe this is my past karma. I'm ready to be eaten. He's been chanting Amito for, for many years anyway. So he's ready to go. So he get bite by his uh, sleeve and then follows the wolf to the cave. So when he walks to the cave, he realized that the wolf does not want to eat him. He just wants to ask for his help. He has a wife. I mean, yeah, a wolf has a wife. How do you call a female wolf? I don't know, female wolf with a few cups. I mean, not cup. it has not come out yet. It's actually a pregnant wolf. His wife, uh, trying you know, trying so hard to push out the baby, but something's happening. Uh, she's uh, stillborn or something, or uh, having troubles giving birth. So Master Hai Xian immediately chant Amito for, you know, praying for them. And obviously, with such a high cultivated person, the wolf got safe. So the baby wolf, uh, how to say, finally got out of mother's womb. Uh, so they got. You know, a, 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 a complete family, a wolf family. So after that, he just left. And then after a few days later, he saw there's a, there's the same wolf coming back. This time on his mouth, there is honeycomb. And then he just put it in front of him. And then whack his tail and say, thank you. So this is, this is the, the story of, you know, uh, even animal knows gratitude. So be, grat be grateful. Um... Uh, so, let's continue. To harbor grievance without cease. Grief. What does it mean, grievances? Because when you work with people, deal with people, there are multiple objective interests. And sometimes when the path cross, you might end up becoming, you know, rivals. You know, not enemy, maybe, but rivals. Or maybe they um, might say something you know, without thinking, my hurt hurt you without intention. Obviously, that's easy. Some some of them might actually you know do something that harms your interest or harms you, and um, you know it's natural to be angry about it. I mean, we will give rise to the anger about it. What we call natural is we easily give in to this anger, and the thing is that if we keep harboring it uh, nonstop. The, 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 the nagging about this guy do this to me because this guy do this to me now obviously uh, it's not healthy uh, you know things need to be released this, these are building up pressures just waiting for you know wait, waiting for exposure so don't do that right so what they do is the other way around they are harboring this kind of negative angry pressure into themselves uh, that's not healthy for them and what about those kind of grievances that is baked, you know, like someone murders the loved ones, you know, big grievances, and it happens, you know. Um, 
there are ways around it. There are rules of engagement around it when you want to seek revenge. I'm not saying that we should, but Master Chingo mentioned that the reality of the thing is something like someone kill your parents or someone has you know done a grief a big bad thing to you, uh, you know, in form of bodily harm, sexually harm, or anything. There are laws, but there's also rules of engagement that you can have. Uh, as a gentleman, not gentleman, that sounds very British, as a junzi, so as a cultivated birch uh, individuals, obviously we need to understand the law of karma. That's why we're here. This is talking about karma. But also, we also understand there are timings in where you should exact retributions. In old days, like in the back in the uh, Chunqiu, back in the um, boring spring and warring state of China, um, there is a saying that I think if you want to avenge your family of those people, make sure that he's no longer in position of power, especially in position of power where he can serve many people. Master Shinko once mentioned in his, um, in his speech, he said that like, like this kind of grievances, big grievances want to be settled between you guys. You have to make sure that person is finished with his duty. So he finished his job and he finished his position as a governor, stuff like that, that served many people. He we do a good job. And when he's finished, then you settle with him. I don't know how he settles. Sometimes it might mean death. Sometimes it might just mean, you know, um, arguments or you know, face-to-face -face just to see why you do it. So these are very raw, very real thing and it happens. Um, but always remember the bigger pictures must always put in front of us. And this case is about ourselves, like uh, people who um, in a position of authority, if they keep harboring grievances or causing grievances to others, um, it's not good for their society, uh, for their uh, life. So back in stories, because this one I um, I don't know how to say it. Like here, they explain. <clears throat> like I say, if it's something big, like your family being killed or they uh, like really bodily harm you or anything, as a Buddhist, we must always cultivate. Uh, it's it's easy for me to say that, but we still need to survive right still need to live on and so when this kind of thing happens to us or to people around us what we must do is we must always um, remember uh, to hold back the anger first and direct our mind for us Amitofo and then start reading the cause and effect understanding why this happens using the logic of cause and effect it will at least hold us back from you know doing something uh, rashly but those small little grievous, you know, grudge, you know, they say something without you know, care, you know, without care for words and all that, should always be, you know, push, uh, should, should always be released quickly. You should always release that kind of grievances quickly. Don't, don't, don't get it. Don't, don't use that moment and imprint on that person. I don't know if you know what I mean. Sorry, something in my mouth. Don't use that moment that you of dealing with that person and then fix it on that person for the rest of his life. That's too much. Um, uh, because people have many faces, you have many faces in terms of many facets. And, 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 you know, unless we cultivate I like to a level where you focus only on one thing, which is like Abito 4 or high meditative concentration, your karma with deeds, your acts, um, you will appear different. So, you will some. You may appear kind to someone. You may appear angry to someone. You may appear good to someone. You may appear bad to someone. Always keep this in mind. These are all, these are what we call li si, rationality. Keep it. Keep it. Keep your head cool. And this is a cultivation. This is a real test. Um, Master Jingo has been tested many times. You know those uh, unreasonable um, accusations you know, on him on his honor, personal honor, on his students and all that. He able to take it, keep, keep his head cool and not put it in his heart, immediately toss it. Because why would you put, would you put a rubbish in your pocket? No one wants to do that. 
Would you put the rubbish in your bank account? No. Right. This kind of this kind of ideas and wisdom needs needs to go through your mind more and more times. The more you have of these weapons against grievances, the better you are in handling it. But nothing beats a real life experiment, real life test to know how far you are in this. Because some people take three days to let it go. Some people take one moment to let it go. Some people take one week to let it go. Some people take 10 years to let it go. Obviously, the scale differs. So either way, it must not be harbored. It must be released as soon as possible with reasons. <clears throat> so using rationality, you can dismiss it if you can. And then using the um, you know, your sentimentality, understand like what they, where they came from. This person must be hurt badly to do that. You know, or this person must have something's wrong with that person as well. Maybe some people are really have some mental issues that cause them to do that. Like give a bit of pause so that you can e immediately go to a little higher vantage point so you can see things better. If you get stuck at that moment, it's obviously hard to see what, what's right, what's wrong. Um, so these are all techniques that you will learn to have as you deal with people more and more, deal with yourself more and more. Uh, but the principle, the bottom line is don't remember, don't keep it in your heart. Right? Always have a quick, have a, this is the point where you need to be amnesiatic, forget quickly. Otherwise, what's the consequences of keeping it? We all know in the sutra, they say that um, in the Infinite Life Sutra, uh, sometimes you argue, you bicker, you keep that keep that moment in your mind. And keep, every time you talk to them, as long as they trigger that point, you bring out the same old thing again. And the more it, it harbors, the worse it gets as you go on. And, and then another flashpoint triggered. And then you bring out ten something 10 years ago on them. And this never ends. And, and then this does not stop in this life. It stops in next life. And next life is no longer just argue. You might be using a sword. You might be using a gun. Why would that person on the street shoot that person A, not person B? Why would this group of people getting, getting killed, not the other group of people? They are all karmas behind that. Consequences is big. If you can see that far and this vantage point, immediately you have no sense of anger. You're like, I want to get out of here. Pure land. <laughs> and it, it is a trap everywhere, spring trap, but opportunity as well. If you're able to pass this, passing, like able to do this in this world, maybe one mark in this world is 100 mark in pure land. They already said it in, in the Infinite Life Sutra. So if you can cultivate Kindness, which is the 10 virtuous deeds, or cultivate your fun, this kind of good deeds. One day, equals to 100 years in Pure Land, or 100 years in other Buddha land, they are mostly good peoples. Because there's no adversity, you, there's no challenge. No challenge, you can't improve your capability. So, yeah, that's why. All right. Don't harbor. So, story wise, in Tang Dynasty, there's a person named Li De Yu, Mr. Li. So he, he became the prime minister. However, he's not a good, he didn't conduct himself properly. He, I don't use that term. He pissed off a lot of people. He, uh, he, he angered a lot of people. Right? So after that, he has uh, lost favor from in the court and being demoted. So how far did he demote? from maybe in Beijing, Tang Dynasty is in Xi'an, which is in, still in the north, China, pushed down all the way to Hainan Island, which is very far, south of Taiwan, I think, right now, that little island. So that far away, that means he lost favors. One day when he is at the Hainan, he went to a Buddha's temple, right? There's a temple, Buddhist temple. On that wall, temple wall, have 10 uh, flasks made of the it's a good, the good flask. Um, and that flask, up to uh, good 10, like high 10s, 
So he felt furious and asked the monk. The monk told Mr. Lee, those are the flask containing the ashes, people's ashes. Why? Because these people has, you know, back when they were living, uh, they have uh, angered or uh, angered um, the, that prime minister by the name of Lee. That's him. Um, and all of them, you know, because they angered the prime minister, they all got demoted to here in Hainan. And back then when you demoted, basically you lost your salary and everything. So you're just going to sit there and wait to die. Um, so everyone died here when they came up here. And back then there's no plane, there's no truck. So on the way, they have to ride through horse cart and in the very adverse conditions. So yeah, they all like um, pass away in here outside their homeland, hometown. So uh, I saw them, you know, just lying there and die. Like their, their corpse lying around there. Um, no one's taking care of them because all their families are in the north, north China. And they went thousands of kilometers south. So I just um, cremated all of them. Uh, too sad. So I cremated their remains one by one, put them into the individual flask and hang it on the temple so they have a place to go. Sense. Some place to mem in memory of them. Very sad. Yeah, and I'm waiting for their descendants to come here. So I make up. So, yeah, it's very kind. So after Mr. Lee heard that, he um, had a very, uh, say he's like, this is my doing. You know, that moment, that moment of reflection. He's like, this is my doing. And suddenly his heart is, is very painful. Painful as in someone's like grasping his heart, never let it go. And that level of pain has caused him death. So he got heartache until he died. Basically a heart attack. That's it. So last one to wrap this up, Mr. Yu Tie Jiao, Mr. Yu said, uh, if someone else use you know their power, their authority, uh, force onto me, force their will onto me, uh, or do something bad on me, I must use a heart of a sea, heart a generous heart, uh, to uh, to contain to um, tolerate. I don't think tolerate is the right word because every time we say tolerate, it's like, I tolerate you. You watch out. I don't know why. I have a feeling I tolerate you means you, you watch out next time. This is not tolerate. This is beyond. It can't be. You cannot say I tolerate you. That, that thing is not going to end. That thing is going to end in World War Two. <laughs> World War One, everyone's tolerate each other. End up in World War One and then World War Two as well. No. So what he means is I will use the heart of a sea. My heart is as big as a sea to um, embrace his uh, twisted act. I want to use that poetic word. So that I can wave off in my heart. Clear the fault in my heart. Yes, clear the fault in my heart. Uh, and um, out the spark of vengeance in my heart. So I want to use a heart, a big heart to embrace the twisted act of this person who write on his authority and bully me. Why? Because this can clear off the fault of you know, ignorance, hatred or the fault of confusion in my mind and uh, put out the um, vengeance, the sparks of vengeance. So in the end of the day, who's getting the benefit? You. You have the merits waiting for you behind. Not just fortune, actual merits. People can go through this actual merits. So a true cultivated individual do not harbor grievance. They let it go. They move on with their life. The first person who are free from this is them. Oh yeah. Up to here, do you guys have any um, stories you want to share or any points, perspective in terms of, you know, being great, grateful and harbor no griefs? Either of this, you know. Like, how do you, um, 
Why don't we talk about this? I don't want to rush this. Why are we grateful for? Why are we grateful for at the moment? Why is it important? Yeah, let's think about it. What am I? What do I have to be grateful for in this life? It's a very important question. So, why are we grateful for? First, now, first thing is the reason I'm here. It's because of the recommendation from my mom uh, to a job. Obviously, I'm grateful for my mom. I will never be able to repay this with this life. I have to go to PLN for that. So, um, also being grateful to everyone in my company who, you know, despite me being new and all that, very caring towards me, uh, helped me. And, you know, even though it's some unpleasant encounters, it always ends up okay. No hatred, no griefs. Um, always ease out in the end. Because, um, I I do felt that uh, Mr. Yu's word, you know, those kind of um, adversities, you know, maybe it's not as dramatic as that one, you know, um, like being rude or being, you know, not uh, pushy and all that. Uh, it can be solved easily by understanding where they came from. Quickly swap their position. Why is he doing that? Is he happy doing that? He's not happy doing that. So he teach me a lot of lessons. Uh, you know, these people who are pushing me to be better. So in the end of the day, I'm grateful for them. So, you know, I'm improving my world view, improving my horizon. And right now I'm very grateful, grateful for everyone who brings me, you know, to the point where I can change my job. <laughs> because he, uh, my colleague went out and then I just asked him, I just asked, hey, do you have any good recommendation on the job? He's just like, come, I'll show you. And then tell me everything, share with me everything. So to be where I am now, it takes so many hands to push me there. When I'm small, my parents, my grandparents, my uh, auntie, uncles taking care of me, tolerating my bad temple, grateful for their infinite patience. And then my siblings as well, you know, being with me in the journey. So this kind of thing. Um, and then in, 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 Parents for coming to Australia. Thank you for coming to Australia. I, I get to meet Master Ching Kong's teaching and his club and you guys because of that. So, yeah. How? Oh, after me. <laughs> Go. There's a saying so in Chinese, it says, if you want to walk on top of uh, people's, you know, prostration and all that, on top of people's head, uh, thousands, uh, thousands of people's head, then you must walk under the foot of a mid, uh, of te uh, of tens of thousands. That means you serve tens of thousands of people in order to receive that much prostration and offer uh, respect from others. Um, Basically, yeah. If you want to, like, the reason why master is respect receive so much gratefulness and so much frustration and so much like respect because he has done 10 times that amount in his whole life yeah that's how we do it they always have a um, heart of because because people who say i'm higher than you you must bow to me obviously people will like slap this person but what what this cultivated person is they always want to serve they always that's the reason why Master Jin can speak eight hours a day. And then you're flying here and there at the age of 90, still going to UNESCO, uh, you know, flying a long flight, just try, trying to get this thing done. It's very tiring. I mean, today I'm just busy for a day and everything's confusing. I'm already like <laughs> grudging and all that, you know, grievances. See? And then Master Jin Kong, if you, see, if you follow his schedule, Master, uh, his students was mentioned that in his the eulogy back then. He who went to like you know across the world. Sometimes like in Sri Lanka, and when they landed, they haven't eaten a breakfast, and so they invited by the presidents, um, presidents of the country to be, visit the temples everywhere. And then this whole journey lasted the whole day, and they haven't even got a lunch, just a few bite of chips and something like that. And Master Shinko is still very steady and very still. And then the rest of them is like, I'm hungry. Uh, you know, my, my stomach's hungry. Uh, you know, they were like, oh, I have no energy. 
I think it's Mr. Chai, Teacher Chai. Yes, Teacher Chai, where before he was monk, he followed Master Chinko around. And, and he saw Master Chinko is like very steady, even though he hasn't been eating for a long time. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, you know, knowing their action, their deeds, brings us that strength, um, you know, brings us that, 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 that power, the energy that we require to, 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 to weather whatever the situation is. So whatever you think is really bad, doesn't seem that bad anymore. Uh, it's like, this is only level one, mate. <laughs> Uh, you know, Buddha has like have to you know feed the meat to the to the egos who are hungry and all that. That's level five, level ten, guys. Uh, that's what you will have to do eventually when you become Buddha. But right? you don't do it; you just they want you give. So without even an ounce of yourself. So that's a Bodhisattva um, Bodhisattva's heart, Bodhisattva's vow. That's why he has never left us because he's. His Sharira, Sali, his Fasan Sali, his spirit is with us. What spirit? His teaching, 60 years worth of content. He can easily put into a library worth of books. His 60 years worth of experience passed on to his students, Master Wu Xing, Master Wu Dao, Master Wu Qing, all the venerables, Master Teacher Chai, which is now Master Cheng De. Everyone passing down. Look at that. Look at the tree branching very wide. To you, to me, in many ways. His promotion of Tai San Ka Yin Pian. So that's why we're doing this. Also, being grateful to him, giving us these opportunities. So yeah, and that's only two sentences, guys. <laughs> this get, this is not um, just read by. I have realized that last week. I think this has so much depth. I just need to slowly open up like a cabbage before you cook in cabbage or one bok. And one by one, find out the um, content. So over here, we have finished this part of the part two transgressions. Um, the rest, we will continue on the next fortnight. So this will take us a year or two at this pace, but um, if we're enjoying it, that's fine. Uh, also, um, all this can be applied to you in your work. Uh, can be applied to you and how you treat people, you know, how 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 you educate your next generation. One day you'll be parents, or be a big brother, or be a teacher, a mentor figure. This thing can be passed down in many ways, um, in in your actions. Someone like you know, someone who actually do it, um, and then say it will always be powerful than just saying it, and. The more you do it, the more you're able to say it. And the more you actually experience the highs and lows, the more you're able to bring flavors to the teachings that you want to spread. And that's why Master Xing Kong do so well, because he has He has tasted every slice of life, no matter how sweet, how sour, how bitter, how salty it is. And then he bring it into his teaching. Everyone's like, he just eats, scratch my itch. So, we too aspire to be like that. You one day will leave imprints to, to someone behind you, next to you, up to you, down to you, no matter what their level is relation to you. You will, you will definitely leave an imprint behind. If anything else, the people closest to you. So, let's start with gratitude and compassion will come. Compassion comes, then you will have to work hard. Precepts, um, these are techniques. Precepts, meditative tranquilities. With meditative tranquilities in the form of Chinese Sutra, Chinese Amitabha, your wisdom will appear. You know, you will be able to know why do why pure land so important. Why why do we have to learn karma? And then these little dramas are nothing compared to what I'm about the journey that I'm embarking. You know, I'm neither lower. I'm neither higher nor lower than people. We're all equal. We are not equal because our karma is not equal. So I'm grateful that we're having that. Because our karma done in the past is different. Hence, I get different results. But ultimately, we will wedge into that equality because we all have Buddha nature. 
So this kind of thing comes to you, you know, as you practice and then fail, practice and then fail, and then feel, feel very defeated, feel very useless, and then you come back up. No, I'm not. And then you keep going. So this is a journey, guys. So enjoy it, but don't forget to go home. Up there, yeah, pure land. Uh, go home. That's the only way you can meet someone like Master. And you'll be by being him. Ah, me, or for 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 ah, me, or for. Ah, me, ho, for, ah, me, ho, for, dedication of merits. May the merits and virtues accrue from this work, adorn the Buddha's pure land, repay the four kinds of kindness above, and relieve the sufferings of those in the three paths below. May those who see and hear of this, all bring forth the heart of understanding and compassion and leave the teaching for the rest of this life. Then be born together in the land of ultimate bliss. Namo Amitofo. Amitofo, thank you. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Kapate. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah.